JFCS is here really to help stabilize families. They help people who have issues, that have problems, that have things that they're working through. We are the only organization designed to meet basic needs, so food and shelter, housing, and then a higher level of need through our counseling department, our child welfare department, and our adoption services. We were looking to design a building that really met our needs, a space that would house our 187 staff, so we no longer had to rent space, but also designed in a way that was for safety and confidentiality. We designed a building brand new, ground up, that we loved. We, we thought it did everything that they needed. We had finished the design Colleen came to us and said, what about this existing building? My heart kind of sank because I really loved what we designed in that initial building. And we looked at it, she said, will it work? We could save a lot of money and do a lot of good in the community if we can make this building work. I had to say, yes, this will work. I think we can do what you want to do in this building. We met with Tom and went to the building to look at the issues that it had. It needed a new roof, all new HVAC systems, the electrical system had to be redone, all the windows needed to be replaced. The program was pretty complicated. They had about six different departments and it all needed to be housed in the same building. They wanted it to be open and inviting, but in the same time, it needed to be secure. So in addition to cameras and electronic locks and things like that, we looked at incorporating the landscape to help protect the openings of the building. So a lot of these issues we discovered in the field, working with Matt and his team was, was great. We really took a team approach to the renovation of, of the building. And you really have to when you have a project like this. Tom and his team were great to work with. He would come out to the site immediately and address any issues that we had. We wouldn't have been able to do this project without Tom's help. Both Tom and Matt exceeded my expectations. They are very professional, um, they did a wonderful job. John Whitty, who was assigned as our project manager, was great at communication, always available for questions. They, we made decisions together along the way and as things came up, we worked together as partners. So they, it was an exceptional experience. Architecture should reflect what actually is happening in a building. When we designed the entry canopy, to me, it really symbolized what the center was all about. A repurposed building that is doing good in the community. To me, that's a reflection of what Jewish Family Community Services does. My name is Morris Bendit. I'm a Holocaust survivor. I suggested to have a Holocaust memorial here in Jacksonville. The closest one is Miami, and until Atlanta, we don't have any. And I felt we have to have a tribute to the survivors and to the ones that perished. I had the opportunity to put it all together. On the glass, there's a, a symbol that is a combination of two Hebrew letters that form the word chai, which means life and symbolizes living. We felt like that was a, an appropriate symbol to represent the gallery. What's unique about this memorial is I put up images that will explain the event, what took place in those days, to know what happened and not to dwell what happened, but to remember what happened. David Novak said, the Holocaust taken by itself is a black hole. To look at it directly is to be swallowed up by it. The gallery really reflects and embraces the spirit of the center. While a lot of people have incurred tragedies or need some help, they look forward to life, they look forward to the future, and they look forward to better things. Since JFCS is a nonprofit, our focus was to make sure that the building was delivered on budget and on schedule while helping them overcome all the challenges associated with the building. I'm completely satisfied with the completed project. It, it accomplished every goal we had for this space. It was everything we wanted it to be and probably more. In the end, to work on this project, it was a challenge and it shows that with effort and help from others in a team, you can take an existing structure and give it new life. And I think that's a perfect reflection of what the center does for people in our community. And because of that, I'm very proud to have worked on the project.